Nearly 700 kilometers north of Yellowknife, Britt Weaver is working hard to feed her family in Norman Wells. We get a lot of wild game here, and moose sausage is so good when you mix it with pork fat. So <laughs> that's how it started. That might be how it started, but here is where she is now. Not only is Weaver raising pigs, most of which she'll sell, she also has about 200 chickens, 20 turkeys, and some rabbits, all of which will end up on her family's dinner table, along with the vegetables and potatoes she grows in her greenhouses and gardens. We don't buy any meat at all, so we'll usually go through two pigs and half a moose in, the, in one year. Some might think she works as hard to keep her costs down, but Weaver says raising your own meat this far north is expensive and complicated. Animals can only be shipped up by plane or on the winter road, and feeding them adds up. <laughs> she says it costs about $600 to feed each pig. This year, there was some help. She got a grant from the territorial government to ship up food for the animals. That made it possible for other people to buy feed for chickens and stuff like that. One of those people is Doris Howard. That, that one's empty, isn't it? Okay, so you have to give me that one. She bought some broiler chickens from Weaver, and she and her daughters are spending their summer getting them ready for a fall harvest. First, they were so excited, but they just can't comprehend that we're actually going to harvest these little birds. <laughs> Howard says for her, she started out thinking this would be a cheaper option, but now she's just happy she'll have quality food for her family. I know what kind of meat it's going to be. It's a good experience for the girls to find out where their food comes from uh, and it's going to be healthier healthier meat than what we just get at the store. Howard says she would do it again but maybe with a neighbor or friend to share the work and the cost. For Britt Weaver that's music to her ears. <laughs> I love that that's my favorite thing. So could farms like Weaver's help with food insecurity in the north? She says yes if costs of farming can come down but that would involve a larger farm operation and the ability to buy feed at lower prices. She says right now she can't produce food any cheaper than what people pay at the store, but says there is a market for quality produce that might cost a little bit more.